It's a poetry reading. Um, sort of the person that I kind of consider the headliner is uh, Pat DeWitt, who had a novel come out um, recently called Evolutions um, on uh, Harcourt books. Um, then there will be um, like uh, Pete, who is the sings for the Cave Singers, who's an amazing poet. Uh, he's going to read some stuff, and I think Andrew Zola is going to do something. And um, my friend Anthony's coming up from LA. He's a super good poet. And actually, me and Anthony have a book that's coming out. Um, that's the two like one page is a poem by me, and then the next page is a poem by him. And it goes on like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of want sort of. I guess sort of my concept was that um, there will be a bunch of us there. We'll maybe kind of be hanging out on stage, and people will be reading stuff, and hopefully, I have that something entertaining will happen. Um, well, I've curated stuff for the Anne Bonnie, um, which is my store um, on the corner of Summit and Mercer on Capitol Hill. Um, so, like, I've curated poetry stuff, and also I'm kind of interested in trying to get people to do stuff that normally they don't have an opportunity to do, or that maybe takes them a teeny bit outside of their comfort zone. Um, and like, you know, people that you're used to seeing on stage doing one thing, on stage doing something else. Something that I like. Um, so, this, you know, kind of opportunity came up, and this seemed like a good way to exploit it. Yeah, uh, I guess, I think it was, I don't know if it was last, I think it was last year, I was part of the uh, Yeti thing, um, Yeti Magazine, this guy Michael Gonigal put on this um, show at Bumper Shoot that was just like, you know, a, kind of a variety of, of stuff, and then um, my band, uh, Emergency Devils, played there, like, played Bumper Shoot. We played there even like multiple shows in the same year before. It's like did a bunch of we've done a bunch of bunch. Um, so it's exciting for me to be able to be back doing something completely different. Um, it's more uh, scary and interesting for me. Yeah, I mean it's and I find um, I find this sort of uh, like that genre of poetry sort of. Um, humiliating on its, like, before it's even started, or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it's such a funny, like, I mean, I think it ranks, like, just, um, I don't know, it's like, uh, it's just a funny thing to go up in front of people without any sort of, you know, props or whatever. Mm -hmm. Without like, instruments. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's exciting and fun, and it's, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. I by no means feel like being the singer in a rock band qualifies you for the other thing. I feel like they're totally different and have no... I mean, I don't know. I, um, it's, it's, it's good. It moved, we moved the store recently and uh, the new location is like, makes a lot more sense. And um, the shop's good. I'm really proud of the sh I'm proud of it. It's like a feel like I'm walking into the middle of this like art project every day and um, so that's deeply satisfying um, from a financial perspective it uh, doesn't make the most sense as a career choice but um, I guess I just have to stick it out I don't know I, I mean I feel like it all is tied together but mostly it's good for me as far as writing because it's a place where I can write and I don't have a boss, so it's okay. I can, you know, I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do. I can just sit at my desk and write and um, when people come in, I just stick my head up for a second and say like, you need any help, let me know, or whatever. And I can, you know, there's no, there's no looking over my shoulder. So that's, in that sense, it's, incredible. And it means that if I'm not writing or I'm not getting things done, it's just my own laziness. I can't blame it on the like circumstances of my employment or things like that. 
Um, I think that it's, a, I think I'm allowed to say, I think it's been like announced or whatever. I think we're playing in um, Chicago at the beginning of October. As okay. part of some kind of like festival thing. Um, well, I'll get to see my friend Derek Erdman, who lives in Chicago, who I like very much. And um, it'll, it's good to get all the old gang back together. And um, I think that um, after our most recent performance, I'm looking forward to trying to do have a little bit more of a like positive, fun, good time with the whole thing. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really, I don't know, I hope that people come over to our little section. <laughs>